Hey, what's up everybody? It is Kellen here from Start Your Systems and welcome to MXS's ATV Reflex Custom Track Gameplays, where today we are going to be playing a track uh, called La Roma Desert by Night Shift or uh, NGHT SHFT. So, I mean, it's basically Night Shift without the eyes. And uh, this is a very cool kind of compound track by Night Shift. Uh, Obviously, I'm playing the free ride version of it, so I can show off both tracks today. There's a national and an SX track on it, but obviously, because he included the free ride, we can also just kind of ride around and look at a couple of other things. I'm going to start off on the Supercross track today because it's where the uh, free ride starts us on. I'm going to do a couple laps, try to show off a couple of the different lines, then we'll jump over to the national, do a couple laps over there, and then maybe I'll cruise around a little bit at the end of the video. But I'm back playing Reflex. Oh, man, I was very rusty. I decided to sit down and actually try to play this game like and get used to it a little bit again for the, you know, first 15 minutes again or so of playing because I was very, very rusty. <clears throat> um, I guess playing Monster Energy Supercross 2 has very much jaded me to the slower gameplay uh, that that game offers. This game feels wildly fast now playing it after playing that game um, and Sim and all those other ones, but uh, always a good time to come back to Reflex. And this Supercross track, really fun flow to it for sure. Um, you know, he mixes in a couple of sections like that where it's not really even like so much of a Supercross y section. Uh, then he's got like these really like kind of elongated sections where it feels like they're almost maybe part of a national track because of how they're, they're rhythm y, but like. They're not like rhythm sections per se. They're just like, you know, like even that section, a couple rollers into a tabletop finish line jump. That feels very much like something you'd see on a national track. And I love these whoops. They're, I feel like very perfectly built where they're not like so big that you could get a bad kick in them one lap and it'll just throw you over the bars or something weird. And then his rhythm lanes are just, I feel like perfect. Like you can hit a lot of different lines in each lane. I'll try to go down this inside one now that I've messed up this rhythm section. So let's do quad over this, and then jump all the way onto that table and off. But just a lot of different lines, a lot of different options. Like the first lap I tripled and then tripled up over the top here. So this one you can go on off basically down the back side of this. And I just love it, man. He just gave us a lot of different places we could go on the track to hit different lines, try some different things. It's a very fun Supercross layout for sure. Like it's... Um, not very cookie cutter, I would feel like. <laughs> it's uh, thinking outside the box and doing some cool different things that you don't get to see on a Supercross track all that often. And this is what I mean by this section is it just feels, that doesn't even feel like a rhythm section to me. That just feels like a flowy, almost like, kind of like Armadillo Flats, I guess, in this game. Uh, you know, the, the outdoor track that uh, is based in like a desert, I guess. That whole rhythm lane and then going up to the finish line just right there just totally feels like a section straight out of armadillo flats with just like the the flow and the rhythm of it where it's not it doesn't feel super crossy to me it feels more outdoorsy i guess but more you know jumpy outdoor track instead of just like a a, a hilly you know sensible outdoor track i guess <laughs> um and then yeah this rhythm lane gives you a couple options i think you can jump all the way out of this one yeah and then uh i think you can double in here and it sets you up to go double. Yeah, I guess it doesn't really do much wonders for you. But yeah, just a couple different options here. Let me think. If I hit every line that I want to on this track, I think I've done just about everything. In fact, I know I haven't hit the line smooth, but there's a section right before the finish line jump on this one that I'd like to get smooth before I move on to the national track because the national track, I feel like, is going to take up a bit more time. But I keep messing up this section here. Where I'm not messing up this one. No, now I am, now that I've said that. I keep trying to get this section clean you are supposed to three in and then quad all the way out not anything too special but you get the gist and then down to the finish line so that's the super cross track very very fun super cross track as i mentioned um because of the desert feel i feel like he put a pretty hard pack base on the track where it doesn't erode gnarly or rut out deep and uh because of that i feel like it's pretty easy to hit similar lines or close to the same lines every lap, but then you go over here and we got the national track, which again, I don't know, maybe it's just because of the desert theme that he went with, but it does give a very armadillo flats with, and um, what is it, Rattlesnake Canyon feel uh, to this track where you just have these kind of roller sections that you turn into rhythm lanes, a lot of like long sections that build up to like tabletops and doubles and stuff like that. 
It's a very, very fun track. Fast, flowy, um, kind of hard to get the pace of it first, I feel like. I played it maybe four laps already, four or five laps. And at the beginning, I was just kind of not really knowing where I was going and sending jumps. And a lot of the times I jumped straight off the track and then eventually I kind of got the hang of it. But it's still just so fast, the whole track. Um, everywhere you go, you feel like you're hitting something at Mach 12, it seems like. And I mean, that's what makes it fun for sure. But it was a difficult concept to grasp at first. So if you're going to pick up this track, um, by downloading it in the description below and trying it for yourself. Uh, that is one thing I would recommend, um, you know, being mindful of when playing the national track is that it'll definitely reach up and bite you uh, if you're not paying attention. Oh, come on. It resets me on the main straight. Uh, oh, gosh. Where am I? I'm lost. <laughs> that was a full-blown Dory Nemo moment right there. I was up here and I just felt like a fish out of water. <clears throat> but, yeah, overall, very fun national track. Um, trying to think if there's a special, like any special sections on this that I remember really liking. I'm assuming when I get to them, I'll point it out, but yeah, just overall great flow for a track. Um, seems like every section I went through, I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. Like how he set that up. Um, oh yeah, I remember this one's being pretty fast and flowy. So all the way down this back straightaway, you're just basically ripping, uh, launch into some rollers here. This is kind of fun. And then it slows you down for this corner and you come back towards where the start gate is a little bit and you think, oh yeah, maybe it will rejoin right in here. Nope, turns and continues to go further out this way and look at me shortcutting the track like an idiot. But it just uses up all the map, man, I'll tell you. He used every nook and cranny this map has to offer to fit both these tracks in here. And that's cool though, you always want the national track to, you know, be long and out there and not confined right next to the Supercross track per se. And this one definitely finds its way off into the unknown and into the out there beaten paths of the wilderness in the desert out here. <laughs> um, I guess I haven't mentioned... Why do I keep pressing that reset button? Uh, I haven't mentioned that he actually thanked Dark Slides, C4 Detonator, and Racer Rat for helping him out with this track. So I'd imagine, obviously, Dark Slides and his bump models coming in, but I'd imagine Dark Slides also beta tested this. And then C4 Detonator, the legendary C4, always helps out anybody that's, uh, you know, goes to him and asks for help when it comes to these tracks. And Night Shift has been coming out with some real banger reflex tracks in the last two or, th you know, a couple years at least at this point. And uh, this one is another one of them for sure. And then my old buddy Racer Rat helping out with the beta testing stuff these days. Um, Racer's a pretty cool dude. Hangs out and he absolutely shreds Reflex, or at least he shreds me on Reflex, but I guess everybody shreds me on <laughs> Reflex. Um, so cool of them to all jump in and help out Night Shift who, again, just been crushing the tracks. This is just like, I, I, I saw this, I loaded up the DS19 website saw this track was up and I'm like, oh baby, I know this one's going to be good. Um, I knew I was going to do a video in it before I even played the track and just so happened that uh, needed to do something different, break out of the zone lately. I've been just so Monster Energy Supercross or Sim based, needed to do something a little bit different and a reflex track he has made for us to play. Uh, where was I? I think I was right here. It's weird, when I was playing this track before, just uh, free riding, I was hit the reset button and it just reset me where I was, but now it keeps resetting me at the start, so I wonder if I accidentally placed a marker on the start. That would be my bad. Oh, that's a big boy step up. Oof. I never know anymore when I'm gonna get the reflex adjustment in this game. I used to know really well. I'd land and I would always just hit it right on the money like, oh, I'm going a little bit long, land and immediately push forward and you get the reflex stick or land a little bit sideways in a rhythm section and either hit left or right and you just you just kind of knew. But I guess that came with playing the game so often you got used to knowing exactly how much speed you were going and you know when you're going to go long on a jump. And I have completely lost the feel of that with this game. But I was actually a little surprised with myself picking this back up that I actually got the Supercross track, track down as quick as I did because normally I am just absolutely atrocious at things like that. And especially Supercross. Outdoors I can get a little bit the hang of because you basically just hold it pinned, especially on this track because it's a very fast, flowy track. Um, so most of the time just wide open or not 
is the better method to choose. <laughs> but in Supercross, I always find myself thinking a little bit more technically and trying to like time things or you know use throttle control in corners and stuff like that. But I don't know, Reflex is, is not a fan of that logic. It's more of the uh, wide open methodology with this game. And I guess maybe Taking enough time away from the game, my brain has reset itself, and now I'm just using the wide, o wide open method to get around the track these days. Um, so that's a couple laps on the national track. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I can show you cool about this before I uh, say sayonara in the video and let you guys go ahead and try this out for yourself. Um, obviously, the environment, he did a great job with everything, all the banners and stuff everywhere. He's got these uh, kind of like barracks looking thing, like a little portable setup over here. I guess I can ride through all that stuff. These cool brick buildings. Um, can I ride through all this stuff? Oh, I can't ride through that. Whoopsies. And I did the exact same thing again. But yeah, environment wise, definitely did a great job of giving you that uh, desert feel and can't ride through that building either. Um, so kudos to him on that. Laid everything down, I feel like in pretty good spots. Am I gonna get stuck here? Back up, back up, back up. Or not. What is my backup button? Oh, there we go. <clears throat> you know, just things everywhere. Just clean, nice, well-built track by that man right there. Night Shift. Night Shift Mods, as he calls himself. So, thanks Night Shift for an awesome track. Appreciate uh, that he continues to make reflex content for us to uh, play. Oh, gosh. Now I'm just going to be in an infinite reset loop here. Nope. All right. Get out of there. And uh, definitely a cool one that he has built for us. So try it out for yourself. Uh, head down to the description below. There's going to be a link to the DS19 website, which also has a lot of great links to get you to old Reflex Central stuff or some of the new stuff that's come out that maybe you guys have missed and you'd like to try out. And then, um, as always, you know, basically just open up your uh, your Steam file, Steam apps, common MXRC TV Reflex database, and drop the downloads that. Each uh, download link gives you, drop them right in there, and you have yourself some custom tracks in game for your PC. So thanks again so much for watching, guys. Another video here on Start Your System, some reflex action on pa uh, uh, La Roma, I almost said Paloma, Desert by Night Shift. Awesome track, awesome time, and you all are awesome people for watching this video. So thanks so much, and I'll see you guys in the next one. So long for now.